Are you the wiggle worm? Come on, wiggle worm. Come with me, wiggle worm. Holy cow! The shuttle is total. Don't panic. You can do this. Remember the training. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Artificier. We're, uh, crash landed on a strange alien planet. But we've been here before! A mi about a million times in a bunch of other games, but this game has a really unique art style. It's actually pretty likable. So, uh, the first thing that you're wa gonna want to do anytime you crash land on a planet is collect some rocks. That's right. Rocks will be used to craft just about everything. So, um, there are a shit ton of rocks here, actually. Hidden behind these trees, yes. One must keep a keen eye. So, WASD move, obviously, left click to uh, collect items from things, such as this. Hey, let's get some, some twigs. I need some twiggy twigs. And then, uh, I guess that's out of twigs now. We'll go ahead and continue on. You can also right click to identify things, which will give you research points, which can be used as a research table in order to uh, make moves in the little mini games that they have. It's actually a really, really interesting way to unlock blueprints and stuff like that. So let's examine this. We've named it the Whale Wood. We got six survival research points. Super sweet. Do some more. Dotted algae. We learned some herb lore. Huzzah! We could learn all kinds of stuff, can we? What's this? Red twig. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I know about this right here. This is snake grass. Oh, snake weed. Yeah. You basically need to use it as rope. Uh, anytime you need something ropely, you're going to pick some snake weed. However, it does uh, hurt your health, which is down here. You've got 10 points of health, but most things do, like, you know, 0.2 damage or less. So, it's not something you really have to worry about yet. Not until the uh, monsters start closing in on you. I got some bubble muffin here. I guess that's a fungus. Weeping agaric. Looks kind of like a, a lichen, except that it's on the ground. Whatever. I don't judge. That's cool, man. You want to live on the ground? I'm just, uh examining everything that I can in order to get some research points up. Maybe I'll get some more twigs as well. Or maybe not. Oh, th there they are. Just gotta shake those those twigs out the trees. Um, I think you can maybe cut down a tree with your hands, but it, it takes an inordinate amount of time, and it's much easier to just get your rock and your stick, and then you come over to your spaceship, and you're like, hey, I'm ready to craft some stuff. So here's the inventory right here. I can stash my little branches in there if I if I were so inclined. Oh god. <laughs> Not like that. But yeah, inventory is important. And then we've got survival. So we'll uh get some heat treatment. Yeah, I'm gonna make all these blueprints. Snake weed bending, herb lore. I will try and make a little crafting table and see what we can do. But first we're going to need <clears throat> some wood logs. Instead of just the branches, we need logs. So we need a uh, axe. Here it is, improvised axe. And this will allow us to cut down some trees. Huzzah, huzzah. And what else do we have here? Research desk, improvised pick. That's what I need. There we are. And let's see, for basic workshop, three sticks, four rocks. We have that, we need the whale wood logs. And then the research desk, we just need a few more sticks, which we'll probably get when I'm chopping up those branches. So we need 15 logs in total to complete those two basic workshop items. But that should come pretty quick. I ain't too worried about that. And you can see uh, a little enemy has fallen from the tree, so we should uh, try and defeat him if possible. Combat in this game is really, really stilted at the moment. There's no way to quote-unquote be good at it. Let's examine. Hooray! Exopathology research unlocked! We can dissect some enemy corpses! <laughs> that's always fun, isn't it? Unfortunately, I can't pick it up or move it anywhere yet, so that's just fine. I'll continue cutting trees and doing what it do. And you can see I've got them all uh, down there. Down there, I got four of them. So, this should be helpful. It goes pretty quick. 
collecting all these resources. Which is nice, you know. In Minecraft, they're like, hey, you want to build a house? You need like, you know, 50,000 pieces of wood, something like that. I don't really know. I don't play Minecraft that much. I gave it about uh, four or five hours and I got bored. I really like these top-down survival crafting games just a bit more. Although I can't, I can't identify why. I guess it's the aesthetic has a lot to do with it. I could get a texture upgrade pack for it, but uh, this don't need no texture upgrade pack. This is artificial all the way. All right, we got 15 logs, but I guess I'll pick up the rest of this stuff. Just cause, just cause I can. Run it on back to the ship, basic workshop, bam. Right there, son. Place it, thank you so much. And research desk. Also place it, right next to the workshop, preferably. That would be nice. Come on. Do it. Do it to it. Give it to me. Give it to me, babe. Dig it, dig it down. Give it to me, babe. I guess it's too close to the, uh, the ship or something like that. Maybe it's not. Maybe I need to be closer to it. Hmm. Well, that'll work. I was trying to do left to right, but we can go up and down. I, I ain't too picky. So, here's my research table. We got our little, uh, lore, herb lore, snakeweed, whatever, heat treatment stuff. So, let's do that. Now, this is a flip the card game. We have 52 turns. Hopefully, we're not going to use them all trying to flip over the cards. Because that would mean that we have to go find some more stuff to research. And the further you branch out from the ship, the harder that can be to do. So let's see what we got here. Sunbeam and skull. Uh, mountain and water. Alright, skull and skull. There we go. Another skull. A little bit of planets. Water. Mmm, I think this was water or this one? I don't know. I guess I'm wrong. Damn! Damn me and my memory retention! I remember the skulls there, so that's nice. Nope, nope, nope. Another mountain. There we go. Give me water. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Sunbeam, sunbeam. Planet, planet. And not too bad, I guess. So, research has been completed for that. And, uh, you can open it up. With the help of your chemistry knowledge and some experimentation, you've managed to tap deeper into the transformative capabilities of flames. By controlling the temperature and the amount of oxygen, you can create charcoal from wood and glass from sand. You feel as though you're entering your own personal Bronze Age. The opportunities multiply, and you just can't wait to experiment with the local orbs, ores, er <laughs> ores herbs, and minerals. Uh, we got a kiln recipe, a glass recipe, paper... That's going to be really important. Mush cane pulp. Mm, we need to find some mush cane. Paper and charcoal. Glass flask. Ooh. Charcoal torch. Standing torch. Fireplace. So, to unlock more br branches in your research tree, you're going to have to build some of this stuff in order to uh, progress a little bit further. It's sort of like Craft the World in that sense, which is another series that I've done on this channel. But uh, we're done with that branch for now. We'll continue into another branch of herb lore. So, this basically consists of you putting random things into a pot, and you want to make this meter fill up to just about this point. So, we'll put in the uh, planet and see what happens. Nothing. That's not good. Okay, mountain makes it go up a little. Skull makes it go up mm, about a quarter of the way. And it seems like that moony thing is dropping it down about what the skull brings it up. So let's do mountain and skull. Is it close? It's almost close. Mountain. Uh, how about moony? Nope, nope, nope. There's a, there's a combination of this. I know it. Okay, so the planet drops it down even lower. I think mountain again. And mountain again. Close enough. <laughs> Probably used way more moves than I needed to to unlock that, but it'll do. And finally, the easiest, in my opinion, is this chest. So you just have to place these things. The uh, locks above it will turn like that. You don't want locks like this. Don't waste turns doing that. Um, and let's see. I guess that's where the mountain goes. Skull goes here and there. All right. That'll do. And we still have 21 research points, so... 
We might even unlock something further. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's see what else we have. Primitive warfare research. Yep, I'll go ahead and study that up. Exopathology, I also need to study. So, a little bit of uh, gaming inside the game, which I think is pretty nice. We might run out of research points. Oh, it's the card flipping one. I guess this is kind of the easiest one to do, if I had to pick. Um, oh, fart. Where's that mountain? There it is. Where's that mountain? The moon? Good. Planet. I saw a planet already. Yeah. There we go. There he is! Check it out! Alright, a little bit of water. We're doing pretty spiffy with this. A uh, skull and a moon. Uh, flip the skull. Damn. Still got it. Hey, no sweat. No sweat, we got him. Look at that right there. Alright, let's try this now. Um, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Hey! How about this? Nice. Got through a lot of that already. Let's have a look at the research tree. And nothing new is unlocked. What do we have for exopathology? There's much to be gained by examining and dissecting remains of your enemies. True. True. So we need to find some dotted algae and 15 stone, and we'll be, we'll be able to make an autopsy table, which seems like a really cool thing. Primitive warfare. We probably want to bring along a shell knife. Um... Carefully sharpen whale worm shells. I guess that's that worm thing that I knocked out of the tree. Can be used as rudimentary knives. But it doesn't seem like I can do anything with that whale worm quite yet. So we're going to uh, have to build the autopsy table first. Well, what else is there to build? Hmm, I'm sure there's something else. Trail markers. Oh, that could be really helpful. We don't have any of that weeping agaric, but... It's around here somewhere. Charcoal torch, autopsy table, snakeweed rope, glass flask, al algae bandage. Ooh, more mush cane and dotted algae. So I gotta find that mush cane, see what we can do. And we need one more rock and two snakeweed to make a stone spear, which would probably be a good idea before we go and set out into the wilderness. I will take just a little bit of damage. I've taken some damage already. Oh yeah, from that fucking dude. Damn. You cut your hands while gathering this plant. You cut your hands while gathering this plant. Well, stop gathering the plant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to do this. I don't want to do it, but I have to. This is how we progress. Alright, craft up that stone spear. Not enough resources. That's right, I need the fucking rock. Alright. Maybe we should put down the trail marker or something like that. Hmm... Might be wise. Might behoove me to do so. Here, give me this weeping agaric. And this was... What was this? Whatever it is, I need the knife to harvest it properly. It was that blubber shroom? What? what I forget what it's called already. What's this? Snail horn! Okay, I don't think I need that quite yet. Does this dotted algae hurt me? Nope, I can get as many of these as I want. So go ahead. Not sure what the items stack to quite yet, but I'm sure I'll find out at some point. Mostly what I do is go into this game and die. Um, I do sometimes get a little further than others, but usually my fate is about the same. I have found the transmitter before. It leads you to, like, a boss or something like that. They're like, hey, once you feel strong, go fight this boss. And I'm like, well, ah, first I gotta figure out how to, uh, to do all the, all the good things that I'm supposed to be doing. Making a stone spear is one of those good things. Alright, trapping research unlocked. That could be quite nice. What's in trapping research? We must find out, yes. As you can see, the tree gets really, really big, I do think. And I should probably start building some of that other stuff just to, uh... Oh, wow, where's my trapping research? There it is. Just to get the, the other branches of the tree, but I need to make some more paper, which is going to require that mush cane pulp. So we'll work on that relatively shortly. I, if I remember correctly, you need the whale worm shells in order to get the mush cane pulp. But uh, we'll see how it go. We'll see how it go. 
This doesn't seem to be working at all. No mountains? Okay. No mountains. You got it. Um, skull? Skull here? Moon here? I just put them backwards. I, I, whatever then. I still got six research points. But as you can tell, they're running a little bit thin as you uh, build more and more stuff. Overwhelmed by the dangers of Alcor, and it's inspired by the effectiveness of the stone spear, you decide to weaponize your knowledge of classical mechanics. Yes, I did. It doesn't say what I can build from it, though. This game is in an early alpha. It's like the base playable build, so I'm not sure if all of this stuff is actually implemented quite yet. I might be going just as far as I can go, and I don't realize that the shell knife is impossible to get. But that won't stop me from trying, damn it! <laughs> We're champions around here. We don't just bend over. We don't give up. All right, so I got a bunch of this dotted algae. What I need now is the mush cane. Mush cane is a must. Cane, you see that it's a mush? God damn it. <laughs> Never mind. There's another whale worm. Will we fare a bit better with our spear? Mmm, seems so. Although we are quite poisoned and whatever. Yep, down to half health already. That's about how it goes out here. <laughs> Is this mush cane? Vision moral. Ooh. Need a knife to harvest it properly. Well, dang. I don't see no mush cane quite yet. I'm gonna need these rocks. Please come with me, rocks. Oh, and these are even more rocks. So let's examine this. Mmm, it's a granite deposit, yes. I can probably pick this apart with my pickaxe. Pick it apart. Make it happen. Do a thing. And then we will uh, progress even further into some research trees. Where do you get charcoal? Not quite sure yet. <laughs> I've played this game uh, three times before. And I died each time. So we're just doing the best that we can. Learn something new every single time. So hopefully... Uh, this video will be helpful to somebody out there who was going, How do I build my first crafting table? And then they go, Oh, it's on the ship. And I'll be like, Yeah! I helped somebody out there! It took me quite a while to uh, figure that out as well. My very first time with this game, I just went wandering into the woods. I was like, Okay, beacon to the southeast, let's just go to the southeast. And I ended up getting stung to death by wasps and their little uh, poison barbs. Alright, so we've got enough stone to build that autopsy table now. So I will go back, I will do just that. I will try to dissect one of these little whale worms. Which, uh, is that what it's called? I'm not quite sure. I should have paid more attention when I was inspecting it. How about you, little guy? What's your name? What's your name? Don't you want to be my friend? I know you do. Come on, let's be friends. Let's chill out. Hey, hey, hey! I need your your research points. Come on, bro. We gotta trap this thing. I know trapping. I just don't have any blueprints for trapping. Alright, there we go. Come on. It should do like a subnautical where you can do it in like portions or something like that. It's a little crazy to chase those things around. Hey! You examined the fluffy creature and named it the pig. What? 12 research points. That's pretty nice. Look at all these little pigs running around. Little pig, little pig. Maybe it's pick, like with a Q. I'm not entirely sure. I almost missed the fucking uh, ship down here. It's very fortunate that I managed to see it by some miracle. Let's see, we got the shell knife. Can't do it, not enough resources. How about the, uh, oh, the kiln would be a good one, too. We need clay, yes. So we'll work on getting some clay. Improvised pick, trail markers. Let's make trail markers. Just a few of those. Couldn't hurt. Oh, and I put one down already. Okay, I guess that'll work. Mark around my base camp. Sure. Uh, fireplace, we can make one of them. We can't? Oh, we need more log. More log, standing torch, charcoal torch, autopsy table. That's what I'm looking for. There he is. All right, cool. Um, 
Am I supposed to be putting something on here? There's a corpse, like, right next door. I can't seem to pick it up, though. So, this is the trouble with early builds and things like this. Not really a tutorial, you're just, uh, farting around. But it's relatively fun to fart around on a brand new planet. You're like, hey, what can I do? What's this world like? What's it all about? It's about building awesome things. And I think eventually you get to make spells and things like that, too. Um, the spirit that I found when I got to the transmitter was talking about, um, magical spells and alchemy. So I think a lot of this game is going to be based around wizardry, which makes me really excited. Survival crafting with a little bit of wizardry mixed in. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, and there's one of those things. Die! Die! Freak! Oh, I'm poisoned to shit. Maybe I can... Can I pickaxe this? Hmm. It said that the whale worm shells had to be carefully collected or something like that. So I don't know if I can just axe them apart or what. I assume not. We need to get some, get them to the autopsy table somehow. But uh, as for how to pick them up, it's a bit of a mystery for me right now. I'll be completely honest with you. I do want some of this. Can't really harvest anything that he needs a knife quite yet. So that's... That sucks. But oh well. It be what it be. We got a lot of research done. I will say that much. Uh, where's those trail markers? Yeah, give me this. Give me this, give me this. Cool. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright. I'll put these around my camp so I don't get lost no more. And, like, right there. Because if I see the corpses, then I know I'll be around my camp. So I just kind of want to spread these out a little bit farther. There we go. That's looking nice. And down like this. I can't place here. I guess that's because it's exactly where I was standing. Alright! So... What's next? The heat treatment thing. That's right, we want clay. And get a little kiln going, and then we can cook up some sand and make glass. And I think we'll progress toward the other side of the research tree. I could uh, continuously mark where I'm going on the path, but I ain't gonna bother. That don't bother me none too much. I didn't wander too far. What's this? What's this? Mush cane. Hey, I need some of this. Yeah, that's what I like. Uh, and what's this? I think that's clay. Yeah, boy. Clay deposit. And this is... Sand. You don't like sand, however, that's what you discovered. I discovered sand! Hail! <laughs> wow, that's impressive. I know the guy who discovered sand. <laughs> you didn't discover it, bro. What the fuck is that? It's just, it's just, that's what it is. That, that, that that's what it is. Alright, so I think we got a good amount of clay. I can probably make the kiln from this. And we even got a little bit of sand next to it. So we can, uh, craft up some glass, make a little bottle. Yeah, see if that unlocks some more research tree stuff. But I need to find some more mush cane. I think that's some of the rarest stuff. Mm-hmm. You can only find it near water, it seems. And I wasn't able to research the water too much. Oh, run away! I don't want to fight that thing. I'm I'm running really, really low on health. Maybe I could find a little campfire or some food or, or something to heal me up. Probably the bandages are what's going to do it. So I should get myself all bandaged up. I haven't actually managed to uh, bandage myself up because I always fail at finding the mush cane. So I'm pretty excited that I was able to find it this time around. So let's make the furnace first. Uh, charcoal torch, autopsy table, glass flask, snakeweed rope. I wonder what we need that rope for. All will be unveiled, I am sure. Not enough resources. What are you talking about? Mushcane. Oh, we need mushcane pulp. Well, damn. 
How I'm supposed to get that? Research desk, where's the kiln? Yeah, there it is. Oh, more logs? More stone. Shit. Do we, do we dare wander in the woods looking for stone? I suppose we do! Yes, why not? What's the worst that could happen? You die? Huh, big whoop. Alright, place that there. We'll try not to get too lost. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just heading into the woods. All alone! Oh god! Crap. Poop. Balls. He surprised me. I'm really low on health now. I don't think there's any rocks over there anyways. Dang. Dang, what a tricky fella. I was trying to study this, and then uh, a worm jumped out at me. What is this? Laminar. Twelve research points. Heck yeah! For going uh, far away from home. Far away. Far away. Alright, there's another freaky dude. I don't really want to fight anybody right now. I need to get myself healed up. But I need some rocks. Just some rocks. Is that so hard to find? Am I am I asking for too much? Lord, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I think there was more rocks uh, back where we came from. Where we got the last rock? Did I mash up all those rocks? Perhaps, perhaps not. Right now I'm just collecting a bunch of mush cane. So once I'm able to process it into a pulp, I will be able to make as many bandages as my little heart desires. Bandages. Bandages! Yes, that's what I want. Here's some rocks. Cool. You chasing me? Dude, come on. Come on, bro. I just want some of your rocks. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta, why you gotta be like that? Don't be like that. Kids, don't ever be like that guy. A creepy, de decrepit forest creature. <laughs> if you can help it. I mean, if that's who you are, that's who you are. Alright, they don't seem to see me over here. Collecting their rocks. I don't need that many. I do want them all, but... We'll, we'll be fine. Either way, we gonna be just okay. I just need to find my way back to the trail marker. And I'll be a happy man! Oh, he couldn't get to me because I'm hiding behind the rock. Okay. So I'll just take the rest of this. I'll be out of your hair shortly, friend. Uh, just, just hang in there. Thanks so much. I'll see you later. In hell! Oh, if I could uh, find a way to recover my health, that would be quite pleasing. Because that's been one of my main struggles in this game. I always end up dead, because I'm out there looking for resources, putting my ass on the line. So I think this is going to be a bit of a, a hardcore style game. It definitely is not forgiving. Once you're dead, you lost all your stuff. That's it. Start over. <laughs> Which can be frustrating, but it also makes things exciting and tense. As you can tell, I was really nervous when that guy got near me. I was like, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, I'm just a silly man! And he didn't. He he obeyed my wishes. Alright, so now we got a kiln. Cool! What's this about? Place fuel here. Put a little bit of uh, wood. And then we put a little bit of sand. Oh yeah! Looky that! I did a thing that I've never done before. I sing a song, cause it makes my heart sore. Twill trail marker fireplace. We need fireplace? I bet we need a fireplace. Sure, that's a nice thing to have. That's cozy. And we'll put all this stuff around the autopsy table, because, <laughs> because why not? Mush cane, I don't think that goes in the fireplace. Do it. Probably not. Herb lore. Algae bandage, stone and mortar pestle. That's what we need. Five stone, one log, two branch. We might lack the stone. Oh no, we're good. I need the mortar and pestle. 
There's just a lot to sort through. I'd like if it had some sort of sorting system to it, but right now it's it's a little basic. But I guess that's okay. There's the mortar and pestle. Excellent. Let's get away from that for a second. All right, cool. Um, grind this up. Yeah, mush cane pulp. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm surviving in this game. I'll keep it going. See what we can do. I know there's more secrets to this game that I have yet to uncover. It might even be a part two. Man, I'm rhyming, dude. I gotta go back and and do some musical videos and stuff like that. It's been a little while since Dayton did. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do, cause I miss it. It's in my bones. How about you? Um, where's that bandage that I was looking for? Was that it? Autopsy table. Bandage. Yeah, that's what I want. Gibbs me that. How many can I make? Three more? I'll take it. Whatever, dude. A bandage made of algae? It's kind of gross, but... I've had worse. I've had better. I've had better. All right, cool, that's healing me up nice. Seems to fill one of these little bubbles. 3.8, let's do it again. Oh, cool, 5.86, so it seems to recover two health. I don't want to overuse it, end up overhealing myself for no reason. Should be 9.86. All right, so we're basically back to full health. All I need to do is collect some more of this uh, lichen, whatever, and we'll be good to go. I can make some more bandages. And now I've figured out how to survive in this game, for, for now at least. <laughs> I still need to figure out how to extract the uh, this worm shells or whatever it is. Oh shit, I'm still using my, my bandage. Well, I overhealed. Oops! I guess I'll only make that as I need to. There's a little bit more glass. I'll take that. I got paper as well. I could make paper. I can make whatever I want. Let's craft a flask. Get in the flask. All right. Didn't seem to unlock anything. Come on, I want to keep going. Snake weed. Well, I don't have to worry so much about snake weed since I can recover my health. Charcoal. That might be a nice thing. But where to find charcoal? Yes. We found clay near water, which makes sense. Charcoal, probably from burning wood. Yeah. So is there charcoal in here? No. Hmm. Maybe if I split up the wood. Maybe that would work. If I use the kiln to cook wood with wood. Right? Is that like some woodception type shit? I don't even know, man. I don't even know! This game is really nice for being uh, extremely early in development. As soon as I saw the art style and stuff, I was like, I want to try that out. You know I love these crafting survival games, no matter what. Alright, there's a little bit of fuel. And that doesn't seem to work. Okay. <laughs> Back to the old drawing board, I do suppose. Dotted algae, we've got some mush cane pulp. I want to get some more of that algae. I'm all healed up, though. I don't really have shit to worry about. I can go take down one of those frog men, lizard people, shit dick fellas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know the guys I'm talking about? Just keep, uh, keep my trail marked. I'll know that I visited this place because there's no mush cane left around it. So we'll just continue down a little bit. It's a shame that there's no, like, arrow indicator for these trail markers. It's just like, yeah, you went this way, didn't you? There's some more whale wood. Whale wood. Wonderful wood. All right, give me more mush cane. I think this stuff is going to be really important. And it's not as rare as I thought. There's plenty of spots of water around. I'll also take some... Uh, what you call this? Snake weed. I need three more of them. 
So I'm going to hurt myself just a little bit. But you know what? It's worth it. I don't even care. I don't even care, dude. I got it all. I got everything that I need right here. Right here. I've got everything that I need. And I'll take that, that wor wormwood and, and that's all I need. My wormwood and my snakeweed. And that's all I need for sure. <laughs> if you haven't seen The Jerk, please go watch that movie. It's fucking fantastic. Oh, hey, that fella's running around. You want some, bitch? Come get some. Yeah. Uh, oh, he hits hard. Jesus. Jesus, please us. Wow, he's strong. Are you recovering? Don't recover health. Die. Die, die, die. Is that working? I don't understand what's going on. Okay, examine him. Horrifying ape and named it the O Simeon. Well, I guess I'll call that a victory. I don't really want to fuck around with it any more than I already have. It's gonna beat my ass. I think it's got like rapid recovery, like a troll or something like that. That made good sense. That makes sense to me. Alright. We'll call it the O Simeon. Why not? Unfortunately, the names aren't randomized or anything. Or maybe fortunately. I'd hate for the names to be randomized and every time I log in I'd be all confused and stuff but it might also be a, a little bit interesting really you're incentivized to examine things either way even though you already know what it's called it's just like man just do it anyways don't be a jerk dude I'm like all right all right I'll try not to be I make no promises hmm carefully sharpened whale worm shells you're the whale worm, right? Are you the whale worm? Are you the wiggle worm? Come on, wiggle worm. Come with me, wiggle worm. All right. That's right. Fireplace. We made the fireplace. We need torches now. Snakeweed rope. That's the next thing that I was working on. Because I'm not sure what it will be used for. Need some fucking shells to make a knife and then I can extract even more herbs and goodies from around here. But alright. Oh, I should probably make some bandages before I go fucking running off into the woods again. Duh! Dayton does! Alright. Well, let's try and sort this a little bit. Not well, just a little bit. Where's that? Bandage. Yeah, this what I want. This what I want. Mm. I could make a ton of them. That's going to be really helpful. I'm so glad I could do this now. Can you imagine how hard it would be if you weren't healing? These only stack to five, but that's fine. I'm going to use a couple of them anyways. Cool! Bandages! <clears throat> now we can go find some rocks. Probably need to make some more of these trail markers as well. But for now, we good. Don't worry. I'm feeling healthy. I'm feeling froggy, son. Ugh. I need some more of this. And this. You hurt yourself. You hurt yourself. You know what? Snakeweed bites. That's what it does. Love bites. Love bleeds. Something like that. Alright, should I just go make the rope now and see what happens? Make some paper? Mmm, paper would be a good idea. Then if I get more research points, I can unlock unlock the tree using the paper. Because without the paper, you ain't going to get no little thing to study. That's important. Um, where's that rope? Give me the rope. I'm going to hang myself if this shit goes ar awry. Cool. So I got a rope. I don't really know what it's for. I don't really care, neither. Southeast. All right. Let's try and find that beacon. I guess that's what we're going to do now. It shouldn't be too far. I can't remember exactly how far it was the last time. I'm not sure how randomized it is. So, uh... Hopefully we'll just 
get a little bit lucky, stumble across it, and then to get back, I just got to go northwest. In the general direction of northwest until I find something. <laughs> One of my trail markers that I've left around. What is that? A leaf, I guess. Hmm. You survived another day. Ten more survival research points. So obviously you'll be overflowing with them if you're slow at this game. If you're fast, then you probably will be starving for them. Or if you're really bad at the little mini-games, or whatever they're called. Oh god! No! No, monkey man! Please leave me alone! I have your core with you, sir! Farewell! Good day! See if we can lose him in the tall grass. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh my. There's the fucking wasp thing! This thing kills me every time. It is just so fast. So fast and so furious. Alright, give me, give me heels. Give it to me! Nah, 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 nah. Give it to me! Hey, there's some rocks. There's some rocks! I can't remember what I was looking for, so we'll just find some rocks! <laughs> We seem to be going in a big old circle. I think until I uh, unlock the the whale worm, whale wood, whale wood worm shells, I'm going to be a little bit screwed as far as progression. Either got to find a way to extract those whale whale. I'm just gonna say worm, the worm shells, or we've got to find the transmitter. Otherwise, we're we're just boned completely. Once you find the transmitter, she'll teach you how to do some alchemy type shit, which is probably good. Probably good to know, on a world such as this, where everything has magical properties. It's similar to the world of Tamriel, but we call it Avalon. Or Avalon. Revlon? Is that... That's, that's a makeup thing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't really know. I think I'm still headed in the southeastwardly direction. But I'm I'm gonna get lost to shit if I try to go back northwest because Yeah. I've not continued completely southeast. I've gotten off track just a little bit. I think once you start seeing these big badass enemies, um you've gone too far. You should probably go back. But we can't go back. There's no way we can go back. Okay, we're going back. <laughs> Maybe I'll stumble across it on the way back. I don't really know. Maybe a, a compass or something would help, but then it would feel like the game is spoon-feeding you information, and one of the things that I like most about this game is that it does sort of leave you to your own devices. It's just like, okay, go ahead, figure it out. I might like a tutorial or something like that. Jesus, I'm getting my ass handed to me out here. Poisoned by everything. Get the shit beat out of me by, uh, simian creatures. They look like sentient mush, mushrooms, something like that. Everything out here is trying to kill me. This is so bad. Well, it's a good thing I gathered more resources for, uh, building bandages. Because I'm -a gonna need them if I even make it back to base. <laughs> Oh, God! Here, heal yourself. What is wrong with you? Just sit around and wait to die? Come on, man! I thought we were in this to win it. In it to win it! Yeah! We are. Don't worry. We gonna do a thing. They ain't gonna know that I did a thing. That's how good I'm gonna do the thing. And I have no idea where I am right now. Let's take some of this. Snail horn. I remembered what this is called. <laughs> All right. Oh, one of them worms is coming. One little wormy boy. Again, I don't think I've traveled completely uh, northwest. So hopefully it's going to even out. I don't want to end up wandering in a big circle, but I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I've gone too far looking for the transmitter. I'm going to end up dying in the woods because, yeah, I didn't keep track of where where my shit was. 
Damn. That's that's so unfortunate. That's so sad when that happens. But again, I feel like I did make some decent progress um, this time around. I just gotta be a little more, a little more active with those trail markers. Not be scared to make a bunch and use a bunch because there are resources literally everywhere if you know how to utilize them properly. Anyways, friends, this has been Artificier. I hope that you'll join me in watching this game because I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on it. Uh, if you would like to see some more of this early, early build, do let me know. And if you want to see it uh, a little bit later in development, then just wait because I plan to do that as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, friends. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. Check out the links in the description. We've got Twitter, Discord, Patreon. We've also got links to uh, this game's Steam page, the devs' Twitter, uh, as well as some other things down there that you might find interesting if you are... Uh, if your curiosity is piqued by this game, which mine definitely is, I'm a fan. Already, even at this early stage where I don't quite understand what to do. It takes me back to those uh, SNES days before the internet where you just had to fucking fly by the seat of your pants and be like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to do this. Something's going to happen now, right? Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. And again, I'm just getting stung to death by wasps. Somewhat similar to my first foray into this game, but hopefully with this video at your side You'll your first foray is gonna go a little bit better. Anyways, I've rambled far far too long Thank you once again for watching this far if you have watched this far once again I've been Brandon Dayton your humble narrator. This has been Artificia. I shall see you in the next one friends and until then Bye-bye One two three Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.